Hello everyone and welcome back to another One Piece Cruise video. In this video I'm going to be playing through Treasure Map vs Law um, with my team. So I made a few minor adjustments so make sure that you look out for them and make the changes necessary for the teams. But I didn't change anything super dramatically. Um, I'm on nav level 80 right now so that the enemies have quite a lot of health so you can see how uh, much damage the teams do. And at the end of the video I'll be going through my tickets since I'm at 10 million points already so I have all the tickets and I'll be going through that at the end of the video so make sure you stick around for that. If you enjoyed the video make sure to like and if you want to see more content like this in the future make sure to subscribe but with all that being said let's get straight into the video. Okay so getting into things first we have the intrusion battle which I did change a bit so basically the biggest change I added here was Akainu so this character is super good for the revive so the, he will inflict the enemy with a burn conditional attack boost. Uh, he'll give the enemy burn as well as give us a conditional for that burn. And that will just kill the enemy the entire treasure map after the revive. So that annoying re revive, we don't need to worry about that anymore. So that's awesome. Um, so we're using Uta on stage 2 for her conditional attack boost of defense down. As well as the support of Hakuba on her to give herself an attack boost and an orb boost. But first we're going to use Kiku and Izo to give us a, a chain lock. As well as the super type to change the middle row slots into Wano. Those slots are going to be very important to make sure we can kill the enemy. And then we also have the support of Smoke on Kiku and Izo to give our uh, quick characters a 1.75x attack boost. So make sure you use Kiku and Izo before your Uta. Otherwise you'll have that uh, selfish attack boost from uh, the Hakuba support instead of the attack boost from your Smoker. So basically just use Kiku Izo and then your double Uta and then you should be good. Uh, Uta will be hitting like a truck. You sh she should be carrying your uh, team on stage 2. Then on the final stage, we can use our chopper to get rid of the burn. That's always good for. Um, but there's no other good point boosting burn that reduces. And you need to remove that burn on this quest. Otherwise, you will die. Um, then you can activate your wanda and carrot for an orb boost. We have a support for a color affinity boost. And then activate Hina for an attack boost and a base attack boost. Don't activate a super type, it's a waste of time. And then just hit your perfects and kill the enemy and it should be fine. You still have one orbs from your uh, super type from Kiku and Izo on stage 2. And we also have the support of the strides on your chopper to get rid of the 2 turns of bind on stage 2. So that's very important. But this team's pretty solid. Um, then we can head into the first mini boss which is against uh, Smoker. This mini boss is... Um, very strong, uh, I love this theme. Stage 1 and 2, we use our Versa to kill. On the final stage, just activate your uh, Carrot special for a orb boost and attack boost from the support of Dogstorm. Then use your uh, Roger special to give you uh, a buff to your attack boost and the color of energy from the support of Nami. Uh, and then use your Raiju later on for a conditional and just tap a perfect on your Raiju and it should kill very easily. We also have the support of Marco optionally for a chain boost. But this team is very strong, uh, that Raiju hit deals like 50 million if you hit a good with Raja first uh, to activate the chain boost of your Marco. So this team is very strong and solid, it should last the entire treasure map easily. Moving on to the next mini boss against Tashigi. This mini boss team, I was a bit skeptical heading into the treasure map, but I'm actually loving this team. On stage 1 we use our Opera Special, stage 2 we use our Enero to give us wave clear as well as a uh, 2 turns of cooldown. On the final stage here, we're going to use our Kanjiro for uh, removing the enemy's defensive effects as well as giving us a conditional attack boost. Kanjiro is such a good character for this quest, I cannot tell you enough. Uh, then we use our Luffy crew, that is going to give us a attack boost or boost color affinity for two turns so it lasts for the revive as well. Then use your Jack for a chain lock so we can get around the chain attack down. Just hit a good on your Enero and a perfect on, op on Opera and then that should deal 50 million damage with Opera's hit. Depending on how leveled up your opera is, mine is uh, plus 540 cotton candy as well as uh, level 150 and level break expansion. So for you, it'd probably be a bit less, but he is a very good character. You should have him leveled up. Then on the revive, just hit a, um, just use your Jack special again, your friend Captain Jack, and just hit a good on Enero and then a perfect on your strength units, and you should be fine. Um, when push comes to shove for damage on this team. You're going to use your uh, Luffy crew last tap ability and that will help you kill very easily. So on the initial kill and the revive, just use that last tap ability and that should kill very easily. And um, yeah, this team is very good and it's super strong. And even though it uses no boosted characters, it's still pretty fast and strong. But moving on to the next mini boss team against Monet here. 
Um, this team is also very solid. It's the best, the best damage team that I have here. On stage one and two, we use our Luffy and then Kuzan on stage two, and then on the final stage, just like to your Marco, that Rakuyo support is necessary for the cooldown. Marco is gonna give us a, a black, a perfect amount of healing. So the enemy gets us to a lower HP, and we need some healing so that we can survive the 10k death hit. But we also need to be below 80% so we can get the uh, the conditional attack boost from your Perona special. So um, Marco heals us to a perfect amount between 80% HP and a uh, 10,000 health. So Marco is perfect. He gives us a color affinity and gets rid of the special bind too. And then we can use the Perona special to give us a conditional and a chain lock. We have the attack boost and all boost from your Kuzan captain. And then just hit a good on one of your units and then a perfect on your Sanji. And that deals like 120 million damage. And then it should deal the same amount with your Luffy hit as well. So this team is ridiculously strong. Definitely the strongest team. Obviously your attack would vary depending on your Sai units' level. Um, but that team is amazing. This team however is a bit um, skeptical on damage. Um... But it still works very well. So on stage 1 and 2, we use our Frankie and our Zoro. Both of which are going to reduce our cooldown by 2 turns. And that's going to allow our Robin and Jimmy special to be ready on the final stage. Where we'll use their special to give us a base attack boost. As well as getting rid of the enemy's threshold. Uh, and giving us a uh, attack down removal. Then we have the support of Mr. One and Mr. Double Finger. To give us the full, uh, 3 turn of paralysis reduction. As well as giving us a chain boost. Don't worry, that is replaceable by the Legend Bartolomeo support to remove 3 turns of paralysis, but he just lose out on that chain boost, um, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. We also have the support of Sanji and Zoro to remove 2 turns of paralysis, so together with the 2 supports it removes all 5 turns. Then we have Kid support for a 1.3x color affinity, and just the stat boosting support on Bullet for the most damage possible. Then activate your Dofi special for a attack boost orb boost and a full board of matching orbs. And with all that, it is a very easy kill. This special, this team is very fast. Two specials only, and on the final stage, three supports. So that's pretty fast. Two specials, three supports is pretty good for all uh, treasure map teams. A bit heavy on the supports, but damage is a bit weak if you don't have a good level low break bullet. But it still works. If you're not going to go to super high nav levels, it will work for probably up to 150 to 200 nav levels. Um, but let's move on to the boss, final boss against Caesar. So CZ, uh, this this final boss team is pretty good. Only uses one support, so it's pretty fast. Stage two, we can use our character and Wanda to give us an all boost and attack boost. Then we can use our Kiku and Izo special to give us a chain lock and extend the all boost from character and Wanda to three turns, so it lasts until the final stage. And then activate your Shanks to give, get rid of all the debuffs. And this team is very strong. If you have bad orbs, just activate your super type of Kiku and Izo for Wano orbs. And it should be very easy to kill. This team is super strong. On stage 2, it will never run out of damage. It's super strong. And then on the final stage, activate your uh, Uta twice. Then activate your Chopper. Well, first Chopper since he needs to get out of the special bind. Then double Uta and then your Hina special and then kill. So four specials. Um, you don't need to activate your Hina super type. It's not going to do anything. But you don't even need to activate your Uta twice um, to, uh, to kill the enemy. It just doesn't uh, give you the conditional if you don't activate her the second time but for most of the treasure map you won't even need that extra damage from the conditional so it's basically three specials on the final stage and zero support so this team is very strong um you get that attack boost and a uh, base attack boost from your Hina we still have the all boost from Karadon 1 on stage 2 we have a conditional from your Uta and if you want you can add the support of Ace to one of your units for a color friendly boost but that is definitely not ne necessary it's gonna waste time but I hope you guys enjoyed. These teams are very strong. They worked mostly as planned. I just made minor tweaks to them. The intrusion is the most annoying. But having Akainu for that burn is amazing. I'm super grateful that I was able to pull him on the Luffy and White, the Sengoku Suku Fist. Um, but all that being said, let's get into the tickets for Treasure Map. Uh, up to 10 million points. Okay, so to end off the video, we're going to be going through my tickets for Treasure Map. Getting up to 10 million points allows us to get like 5-ish legends here. 3 of them are limited pool, so hopefully we can get something new here. It's been a while since I've gotten actually something new from Treasure Map Tickets. So let's hope for the best. Let's first do the regular tickets. Um, I think there's 2 or 3 of them. But 
As for these tickets, uh, it includes a lot of legends, so I'm not expecting anything. Anything that I don't have level on break 5 is nice. Honestly, the best the best would be to get level on break 4 legends. Uh, okay, Jack. Um, I don't have him maxed. I think I have him at 110 right now. Uh, and I am using him for a mini boss, so having those extra stats is actually pretty nice. But not the best legend. Um, let's go to the next regular legend. Which is right here. Hopefully we can get a legend that has a decent level of breaks. One of the few older ones is uh, version 1 Blackbeard. He's so good for treasure map. Uh, if I have him at level of break 3 or higher, it's going to be awesome to have him. Um, Sanji and Judge though. Uh, this is a very um, mediocre legend nowadays. He still has potential in treasure map since he gives an attack boost, or boost, and a paralysis reduction. With his special, but still not the best. There's a bunch of rare crit tickets here, I'm not going to go through all of them. If I do get something decent from them, I will show you it, but if I don't, I'm not going to waste your time. But let's get into the limited pool legends. This is, I think, within two years. Um, I'm missing quite a few legends here. Sengoku, the new one, is included in this. So there is a chance I can get him here. Hopefully I can get him, um, or anything new. Or just something that's good for level on a break. But either way, let's see, it's a raid and it's going to be... Moria, okay, that's, a, that's an interesting legend. He hasn't seen a lot of play recently, um, but he's really good in treasure map as an int driven powerhouse captain. Uh, he's pretty good, um, but still not the best. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not a very good pull. I mean, he's better than getting a super old legend like uh, that version 2 Boa. But let's see what we get from this legend PvP Akainu. Okay, this is a pretty decent legend. He gives a lot of boosts with his special. Um, and he also removes barrier, which is quite unique, but also not an amazing character. So it looks like the tickets are dead this time around. But let's see what we get from this final ticket. Can we maybe save it? And can we get a new legend? Sweet Commanders. This legend is very old, um, but honestly, be um, between all the legends that debuted on that batch with Snake Man, uh, the Sweet Commanders, and Jerma, I think. Sweet Commanders are the most usable nowadays. They have a very good captain reducing despair. They also have a uh, wave clearing super type that also gives cooldown. So as a captain in treasure map, that's really good. Um, but still, uh, not the best pool. Uh, so those tickets weren't the greatest, but let me quickly do the 4 star tickets. I'll show you if I get anything decent. But let's get into it. Okay, it's alright. Lucci, okay. <laughs> Bro, they really gave me hope. That was the very first 4 star ticket. Um, so yeah, these tickets usually give you 1 or 2 legends just because of the legend rate. I don't know what the legend rate is for these regular tickets, but I'm surprised that we got a legend on the first 4 star ticket. But okay, um, I'll show you if I get anything else, but that was quite interesting. Oh, another legend! That's very interesting. That is a very interesting pull. I kind of forgot this legend existed. He's such a he was such a good legend, but normal attacks only just made him terrible. Uh, still an interesting pull though, and it's always nice to see a legend. So I don't have him at I don't have him nearly at 150, so I'll still take it. Oh, yo, this legend escaped my account like for I think like one or two years. This character in his, in their prime, I just couldn't get them. Like when uh. Garp Challenge 15 or something, I forgot what it was called. But either way, it was like a super hard piece of content that you needed a specific team to beat. And I couldn't get that legend and they were perfect for that. So, I did eventually get them, but I haven't gotten a lot of dupes of them, so I'll still take it. But it's not super good in today's day and age. Uh, let's see what else we get. And then we can end this video off. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you got from your legends, if you got anything decent from these limited legend pools, tell me in the comments because it's very rare to actually get something decent from these. Um, but I've seen some people get lucky, but if you enjoyed, like the video, if you want to see more content like this in the future, subscribe as I said at the start of the video. With all that being said, I'll see you guys within the next video, bye.